Nah, she's building AK. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Chinaman Podcast. This is part two of our IPL preview series. Um, back here again with Will and Arjun, and we're going to hop straight into it. So let's start. Is it Mumbai? Let's start with Mumbai. Yeah. All right. Starting with Mumbai, boys. Yeah. Who have we got as our openers? Um, I'll, I guess I could start. I've got um, the wicket keeper, Quinton de Kock. I think he... I think he's really good, uh, personally. I'm looking forward to seeing how he goes. And then I've got the captain, Rohit Sharma. I know he's better in the middle order at times, but I think his best position is opening the batting. I'll think you better. I think l 11 will be exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think this team, more than ever, we're going to have a very similar 11, except for yep. maybe one spot. Um, I've gone for Sharma and Dukok, too. That's just plain It's a no-burner, Sharma and Dukok. Of course, it's Sharma and Dukok. <laughs> I don't know if that was meant to be. A Obviously, joke. I think we all agree about um, not having Chris Lynn for sure. Yeah. Yeah, when well, that's the question. Um, I didn't have Chris Lynn, no. Yeah. He's probably. I don't think he's. I think he's passed it really. In, uh, I think Chris Lynn or Pollard, isn't it? Yeah. And Pollard's and not going to bowl. Is it good enough? Why? Why change a working formula? Yeah. Um, they can keep it all the same. Um, yeah. Uh, three, four, five. Yeah. Ryan, you want to start? Yep. So three, I've gone with... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his first name, so I'll just go with Yadav at three. Ishan Kishan at four. Umesh Yadav at three. No, no, no. I didn't Could do I say that. Yeah. No, I just want to know which, which Yadav Wait, it is. But you're having Jayant Yadav at three? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, how do I say this? Surya Kumar. Uh, Surya Kumar Yadav. Or just call him. Oh, I thought you meant Unam Yadav, the, the Indian bowler. Some yeah. people say oh, Sky. Very funny. <laughs> call him Sky if you want. SKY. Okay, yeah. Him at three and Ishan Kishan at four. And at number five? Uh, Pollard. Yeah, um, no surprise. I've got exactly the same. Um, I think Kishan was dropped at points last year, but I think he is pretty good. And he'll stay there. And Yadav, and Yadav had a great season a couple of years ago. So I think definitely. He was like consistent last year as well. Like he didn't get a big score, but he was always in the 30s. Well, Which they might that bad. Based on previous years, is even maybe open with Yadav and have Rohit in the middle. But I don't think that's what. No, that's should. not going to happen. That shouldn't happen anyway. And then five, yeah, Pollard. I think if he plays, you got to have him batting up because he doesn't bowl anymore much. And yeah. That's why you can make a case for Chris Loon, I guess, in a way. You could also make a case for Pollard four. Um, yeah, yeah. five, Kishan three. I, I do have Ishan Kishan at three. Um, but I think it's sort of interchangeable there. And I do have Yadav at four with Pollard five. Um, obviously, you've got... You've got a floater below that. You've got Hardik coming in. Well, they're both floaters. If you think about it, both the Pena brothers are floaters. Yeah, but one in particular. Um, not as much as Russell, but still he's, he's pretty good. Um, See, so yeah, I mean, I, I guess moving straight in six yeah, and seven. We have the brothers, yeah. Both we just have the, the, tw- yeah, the brothers, yeah. We all gone for two Pandias at six and seven. Yeah. yeah and obviously very flexible. Hardik could easily bat four or five. Yeah, yeah, basic the second best T Twenty player in the world, in my opinion, after Russell. Um, Hardik, yeah. In some ways, very similar players. Obviously, thing you could um, say is that he's been injured for a while. It'll yep. be interesting to see how he comes back, but I think he's a proven talent. Yeah, and Kunal is very underrated as well. He's a he's a great player, Kunal Pandya. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think even if Kunal smashes it, there's a chance he could pip Jadeja to the. I reckon. It's just such a strong batting lineup. Um, the only thing that does let them down sometimes is their bowlers. Um, so looking at their bowlers, given that I haven't played Lynn, it means I can put two internationals in. Which for me, a bolt, and I'm actually cool denial. I think um, there's a case for McFennigan, I think, or even Pattinson, but I think you want cool denial there at eight. Um, 
He's probably still a better T20 bowler than James Pattinson. I think Pattinson's never excelled that much in that format. Cordon Isles, he still plays a lot. Not, in, not at the moment, but he's played a lot for Australia. Played lots of limited overs and he's pretty good at it. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, Bumra, he's one of the best bowlers in the world. And Rahul Jahar is my other Indian bowler. Yeah, I'm exactly the same. Yeah, I'm exactly the same. I think they have to play Cordon Isles. They paid a lot of money for him. In like eight crore or something like yeah, that. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Considering he was pretty average at RCB last year, um, I think McLennigan is not even that good. I don't know why they've had him for so long. Um, <laughs> he hasn't played for New Zealand in ages. Uh, I think he had one year at the Thunder where it was trash as well. He did. That was fun. So he's an option. Obviously, they lost Malinga, but um, I'd say Malinga not being there is more of just a leadership thing. And like mentoring the players, like Bolt is probably just as good almost. Yeah, I mean, Bolt's pretty, pretty good replacement. He's certainly the best of all the replacements that have happened for players in the um, mm. IPL. Like, you'd be pretty happy, pretty thrilled to have Bolt coming in from Malinga. I think Patterson was actually the replacement. Bolt was already there. Oh, like, so- when you look at this team, you don't see any weaknesses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess I'll take a quick link, uh, look at the bench players. Yeah, Jayant Yardov, maybe for Jaha. Um, they've also got a young batter, Anmol Preet Singh. He played for Punjab. He probably might get a go because Kishan and um, Yardov might not be always consistent. But yeah, no surprise we've got the same teams. <laughs> so, guys, where do we think Mumbai is going to end up in the table? <laughs> have, we, have we all gone the same way? Well, I went first. So if you ever gone first, then I've also gone first. <laughs> I, you know, what? I'm going to not be boring. I'm going to change it up. Um, <laughs> it's a very strong team, but their three to five isn't the strongest in the league. Um, they have got Hardik to secure it. The bowling. Fast bowling is very good. The spin bowling options are questionable, and the IPL is being played in Dubai, um, the UAE. Um, so I'm going to have to change my predictions around a bit. I'm going to have them coming third, and I'm actually going to move my things from the previous episode. I'm going to say Kolkata first, and Delhi second. Right. Oh, bold. All right. Yeah, um, I guess there's, there's some good points. Um, I think. I think they made a massive mistake by not replacing Malinga with an international spinner. Um, there was likes of Adil Rashid and others that weren't picked. So there's like they have four international paces. I don't think that's necessary, really. They would have loved to have got Zampa a few days earlier, I reckon. If they still had time then, probably. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, interesting stat. Um, I said before to you guys, so I'll just share it here. Um, the three seasons that Mumbai have played without Malinga, Mumbai have come fifth each time. And obviously, they have a knack of winning in the odd years. So 13, 15, 17, 19. And um, so let's see if they can break that curse. But I think I think they definitely look strong enough to do it. And yeah, only one team's ever won it twice in a row. Um, I don't think they will win it this year. Um, they, they probably will be up there at the end, but um, just considering it's the IPL, if, they, if we all think someone's going to come first, they'll probably finish about sixth. So <laughs> just, a bit. Honestly, they could, considering the sort of league this is, Mumbai could finish outside of the playoffs this year. They could finish, anyone could finish anywhere in this comp. All right, uh, shall we move on? Uh, what's the next team? Uh... It's your favorite one, Ryan. Oh, yes. RCB. All right. Who have we got as the openers? Well, it's pretty interesting from the get-go, isn't it? But I have gone for Finch and Party of Patel. This, I think Finch will definitely play, but there's certainly questions over whether what, what, what role, you know, Coley's going to play and whether Patel has a spot in the side. Um, and there's other options on the, on the bench, I suppose, as well. Um, but I think Patel's good enough for me. Um, I get why people want to drop him, but I'd, I'd still have him opening. Yeah, I've got the same Finch and Patel. 
Um, the other two options, I guess you could say, is Philippi or Finch. Um, that might be tried at some point. And then there's a young guy, I think, named Devdud Padakal. Yep. He's an Indian option. If they do that, they'd have Davilius keeping. I'm not sure how keen they are on that. Yeah, yeah that's another problem. Yeah. yeah, I'm exactly the same. You said Philippi or Finch, but you had Finch. So you mean Philippi or... I really don't think Philippi and Finch is a competition. Like, Finch is a very... Uh, obviously, at the start, Philippi. Finch, easily, Finch could easily flop. No, I don't really see that happening. I'm just looking at his previous IPL history. Maybe. Yeah, he's, he's never performed that much in the IPL. He hasn't even been performing that much for Australia recently, but I think he's in better form than he has been coming into other IPLs as well. Mm. Yeah, so who have we got for 3 4 5? Um, I've gone for, I think everyone's going to have a pretty similar 3 and 4 if Coley's not opening up on Coley, 3 to Billy's 4. Um, that's just. It's just pretty obvious, I think. Um, the middle order is where the team just obviously falls apart once you get past the top four. Um, there's like no good options, but I have gone for Marion Alley at five. Um, he's not that good, but he occasionally gets a really big score. Well, <clears throat> I've gone the same, but I'd, I'd argue it's not that bad. Like, Moeen hasn't been consistent for England, but I think. You know, Indian, I mean, you know, UAE conditions and also last year was okay. And I think that's a good good player for them at number five. And obviously, Cole Indivili is a dynamic duo for them. Brian? Yeah, I'm just thinking. Uh, actually, I might change it up. So, I might have Finch and Cole opening. He's a bit different. And have De Villiers at three, Moin Ali at four, and Dubai at five. So I think, oh, I reckon, will we, you reckon that's making the weakness further up? Yeah, I mean, this is RCB that they love a batting collapse. Uh, very top heavy in that case. Yeah. But. Like many teams, they're top heavy, but they've just got almost like it's absolutely nothing behind. Um, Depends. And it's, uh, I know it's not even the weakest part of their team. Like they, they can't ball for anything. But um, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's certainly worrying RCB this year. Like I even this year they don't even look good on paper. Other years they always look good on paper. But this year I just I just worried about them. <laughs> uh, I've definitely got some different views, but we'll, we'll get onto that. <laughs> um, Six and seven. I've gone with uh, Shivam Dubey starting off. I think obviously he um, played for India recently, or feels recently, I guess, December against West Indies. He looked okay, I guess, as like a bit of a floater option. I don't think he'll float for them, but um, he looks handy, can bowl a bit. And I've got the big money signing, Chris Morris. I think it's a gamble, for sure. You could argue he's a bit past his prime, but he was solid at the Thunder, so I think he could be a good player. Yeah, he was solid at the Thunder, but the IPL is harder than the Big Bash. Um, especially his batting, I worry about. I think he's a good enough bowler, but I do worry about his batting. I've also got a Shiram Dubai 6 um, with Morris at 7. Um, but there's just so, so much inconsistency throughout the, the batting lineup, except for the three and four, really. It's certainly, it, it's, it's worrisome. Yeah, so I've gone with, um, is it Gu Karat Singh? I've seen it. I saw him during um, some of the warm-ups. They were playing. He doesn't look that bad. So it's, this is like one of the, obviously this highlights the amount of holes, the massive holes that RCB have. After that really top heavy batting. But yeah, I've gone with him and I've obviously gone with Chris Morris at seven. Um, in my opinion, I think Dubé is much better. Good no, I've got Dubé in the team. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I've replaced, yeah. 
Oh, then I think that's too weak. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, seeing Good Good seeing, um, he's not like, he's just like a bit, bits and pieces, but I'd say, like, he's not off spinner. Well, that's the issue, isn't it? We're very reliant on now three players. I think he does play a lot for them, but, like, he's not even that great. I... Yeah, our batting pretty much just relies on Finch, Coley, De Villiers, and then Ali just hit at the end. Even if you do hit 200, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we can go into... Well, the... hopefully, like, if the UAE turns into a lot of spinning wickets, then Moin Ali and Chahal is a combination. I'm going to sort of start off, like, the debate. So, moving into the final four, I think, I think these four players, or, like, overall... They're in much better form than ever before. And there is a lot of, you know, c- criticism that they get. And Morris sort of patches it a little bit. But, you know, having so Umesh Yadav and Navdeep Saini, I think they've, they're, they're solid players. Um, obviously, Saini has played a lot for India. And uh, my poor cricket, he looks okay. Yadav more in test matches, but I think he's good enough. And... Um, Two spinners, all right, all right. T Twenty players, um, Isvendra Shahal and Washington Sundar. I don't think that's that bad. I think that's arguably the best Indian bowling cohort, um, other than Mumbai. So, I think I, I have different opinions from you, Will. Sure. I mean, my question is like when they when the other team gets in the attack and they they start getting a bit behind the game, who's their star bowler they turn to? I didn't really see one there. One exactly. I, I mean, yeah, no, you can't really go back to Jahal to stem. Lines. I didn't really back. I mean, T twenties especially. Um, like they're all okay this year. They all. It's often like that that they're all okay. I mean, at least there's no obvious hole this time. Um, of course, Morris does patch that up, but Morris has off days, and they're all going like a Sione and yet ever very inconsistent, and so are the spinners really. Um, like they're okay, but there's just there's no star bowler that helps them out there. And the, like I feel when they get on the back foot and the other team's batting innings, they're going to really struggle to to get the game back. Um, because when you have the likes of you know Mumbai or Kolkata going on the attack against them, um, or Punjab or anyone really, like who's going to get that wicket? Who's going to bring the game back? I worry no one. Yeah. I guess you could technically drop a player like Finch or Moen Ali. More probably Finch and play a fast bowler like Stain. Yeah, this yeah. Stain would be helpful there. Zampa is also yeah. obviously the other option. Yeah. There. But they you wouldn't play Zampa at Jahal. I feel like that's. I don't think they'll do that. And the Sundar as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, Zampa, I don't know. I think he might play at some point, but it's going to be kind of hard to fit him in. Yeah, but if Finch, if they draw Finch for Stain, our batting is just. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Like, there's bowlers you sort of want to play. I, I don't know. I don't think Stain should play that much. Like, most of his big bash I mean, is okay. Um, but he doesn't look that fit and ready. But we'll see how he goes. Um, They've also got... Um, I kind of forgot about him. Oh, well, the bitch marsh hit the stumps in the fall. Is it? <laughs> RCB. Yeah. yeah. And um, the other Indian player, Mohammed Siraj, but... Yep. I don't think he's close to the other two. They sort of liked him, I guess, inconsistent, but pretty quick. So, yeah. I think he'll play. I think once the other ones start getting smashed, I think he'll play. Um, but I don't think it'll make much of a difference. Yeah. Right. So who wants to guess where I think RCB are going to finish on the ladder this season? Well, I reckon you put them... Eighth. Yes. Just right on there. Yeah, I've gone for RCB eighth. Um, I could say they're finishing fifth or sixth. I mean, obviously, like any team, they could have a really good run, but it's hard to say they're finishing in the top four, and I think they could easily come last again. Yep, I've also put them in the second half of the table, and I've put them in sixth. Okay. I think they'll win a few games where... Cole and Villiers pretty much wins in the game. Yep. That's all I can see them. Well, that's all I can see happening. If they're going to win any games, it'll be down to Cole and Villiers. And I think they'll be chasers as well. Like they'll be chasing like you know one ninety, and like they'll do it with, just with their top order. Yeah. 
Um, I've got a very different way. Um, even though I'm not even the RCB fan here, I just I just think that this they could just click this here. Like I think that Indian players. Uh, are, I'm an RCB fan, and I don't. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> order might be weak, but like Moeen, Dubey, Morris, like they all have like they have. Capability. So much potential, but Moen Ali hasn't scored any runs, and his bowling hasn't been great. Yeah, like there's so many players that have, like they've like hit my old Bob McCollum, whatever. But I feel like this time is their time, and I've gone for a very ambitious third place, <laughs> which means we get got, third. which means I've got Delhi, Delhi, um, Bangalore, and Punjab in the top four. I guess that's more because I really want to see a new winner, and I think RCB can go far but like like you two have said i would not be surprised at all if they just flop and come last with a few nice quality shots here and there i'm sure they'll play nice technical batting shots and it'll be good for ryan <laughs> so on to the best team in the comp um rajasthan um, I think we've probably all got them first, let's be honest. Um, just, do we even need to bother? Like, they're just, they're just sick. <laughs> so, openers. Um, I've gone with Joss Butler, who is one of the best T20 openers in the world. Um, it's, it's a great start to innings. Um, he can certainly yeah, get... Not a number five or six, guys. Mm. <laughs> he can certainly get them a long way towards winning games. Um and I've gone for Yashaz Vijay as well as the other opener. Um, I think I don't know that much about him, but I think the general consensus is that he's going to be opening with Butler. Um, some people think Samson, but I think I'm happy with Samson at three at the rest going into the middle order. Um, and I think Yashaz Vijay as well will be. We'll see how he goes. Um, yeah, I've gone the same. Butler and Jay as well. Um, I think he had pretty good stats in the under-19 World Cup and definitely one for the future. You said Sanderson. They might even consider Robin Utapa. Yep. Um, I, in my opinion, though, I think it's time to move on from it a little bit. And, yeah, those are my two. Yep, I'm the same. Got lunch as well. For the exact same reasons. Well, is probably the best 2020 opener right now. And just well, yeah, he had an amazing under nineteen World Cup. I mean, to be fair, that wasn't T twenties, and in the ODIs, he did struggle with a bit with the strike rate from memory. But <clears throat> just judging of talent, I think he'll be okay. I guess he'll be like the new Shaw and Gill. Maybe. People. But the thing was, like Shaw and Gill scored quickly. Just well, didn't really score quickly. Certainly be interesting. Strike rate was in like the seventies. Hmm. Um, middle order, I think three, four, five. Um, it's honestly is one of the most exciting three, four, fives in the competition. I think that's hard to doubt. Um, with Andrew Sampson three, Smith at four, and Stokes at five, and that order can obviously change around. You could have Smith three, but I think you probably keep Sampson there. Smith is such a good anchor. Um, with Sampson and Stokes to go with him, it's 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 pretty pretty good. Yep, I've gone with Smith at three, Samson at four, and Stokes. But like Will said, very flexible, depending on the game. Uh, if Butler's still in, in the 10th, 11th over, and Jaswell gets out, then you could easily put Samson in there and just yep. keep accelerating that run rate. Yeah. No, I've, gone, I've gone the same as Ryan. So Smith at three, Samson at four. I think Smith more so if you lose a wicket early, like he can just solidify that. Like if Butler gets out early, you want Smith in, realistically. Yeah. Well, I think Smith can get going in, in the IPL, especially. He's, he's pretty good there. I think he's got hundreds of it. And I think he'll captain the side as well. I don't know if they've announced it yet. And then Stokes is one of the most informed. No, players. I think Smith's confirmed captain. Right. Maybe? I don't know. Or do you know? Um, I'm, well, the way the way he was speaking in that interview on Quick Buzz made it seem like he was the captain. <laughs> and question: Is this the best top five in the IPL this year? No, RCB have the best top five. <laughs> I think based on Rajasthan, it's probably Delhi. I think Delhi is better. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. 
Mm. We have the best three of the top five. <laughs> I'm not asking who the best top <laughs> random three. It doesn't matter. We have yeah, top Delia three is like Pierre. equivalent to most well, teams' top five. Yeah, PL. Look, you got Moe and Ali in your top five. Come on. We got Finch, Coley, and De Villiers. Smith, Stokes, Butler. Well, um, Stokes may not play at all. Mate, yeah. Ra- Rahul Maxwell Puran. Hey, you have Stokes <laughs> with out, you like coming in as a replacement. Just, well, just you can like, argue. You can argue that's just as good as RC, those Finch De Villiers. Colin. I would have said Agarwal before Puran. Uh-huh. I like Puran. I like I like both. Um, anyway, we're off topic. Um, we all had the same top five, right? Pretty much. Yeah. You might have the same six and seven. Yes, I do have Uthapo at six. Um, or maybe not then. <laughs> I mean, I think he's just a solid enough batsman to put at number six. Yeah, I back Uthapo at six. Um, and he sort of solidifies that the top six. And then, guess who? Ryan Parag, number seven. My boy, guy. Boy. Yeah, I'm exactly the same. Yeah. Ryan Parag. He'll get better this year. I have Ryan Prague at six. Yeah. Um, I think he he can finish off well. He's shown that he's he's, he's scored like match winning innings last year as well. Um, I don't know with the because I don't know. I think he's just declining a little bit. I I just keep thinking of remember last year he scored nine of twenty. <laughs> and then, like I do uh, know, that was funny. I still always saved it for them. To be fair, but yeah, it just, it just rings in my mind. I've gone with seven. You could say it's a bit weak. Shreyas Kapal. Um, yeah. He's definitely yeah, had a, got a long tail. I yeah. think it's Pinch a strong batting lineup, but yeah. So yeah, those are my two. I think there's an honest case that we could say Smith and Stokes and Butler are solid enough to only play the. Play. Me and Parag at six is still pretty weak, though. Um, I mean, well, if seven doesn't imply that he's like a genuine all rounder, you... also we also just don't have he's he's pretty good guy, but we just don't have enough good bowlers. I think I think I'd rather just have that solid batting similar situation to um Punjab. I think it was Punjab the team we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Um. So you're going on to bowlers. Um, I do have Gopal at eight. An Archer nine. Um, they're obviously the stand-up bowlers. Then I've gone for Anukat, who I think is good enough. Anukat, I don't know how to say it, but he's all right. And then Ankit, Ankit Rajput, who's my eleven. There's other, there's other players you could have there, but I think that would sort of be rotating with the the last Indian bowler. No, I've gone exactly the same. Um, when I'd cut, there's been a lot of pressure on him. I think he had massive uh, salaries in previous years. But I think I think he had a great season in the Ranji Trophy. So if that has any say, and Raj put, I think they might consider another spinner or something. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, I'm exactly the same. Except instead of Raj put, I put Tiagi, just the younger bowler. Uh, no real reason. I yeah. think they're pretty. They're very similar. Like you, you guys say, it's that last bowling, fast bowling position could easily be rotated. So. But uh, so I just remembered um I got Gopal at seven, right? So I need that extra bowler. Yeah. I've got yep. Mayank Markanda. That's the option. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good option. He did have that one game for India and he played for a few teams. I think he's solid. And he did, I guess it's all about you. But the tail is a bit long. But. If Stokes and Parag get eight overs from them, then you might not you might not need like five uh, bowlers as well. Yeah, I mean, overall for me, this is a team that can win games. Like, the, if, especially if Stokes plays Smith, Stuck, Smith, Stokes, Butler, Archer. Like, they're all game-winning players. Um, no, you can easily. This is a team that can easily hit two hundred if Butler fires or if Smith or, or Samson fires or any of them fire. They can hit two hundred. The bowling is obviously the problem, but Archer's very good and Gopal, I think, is very good. Um, and the rest of the bowling can hold that up. Let's hope to get some overs from Stokes if he's there. Um, I think we're good enough to add it. Like, I get you guys are going to probably say we're going to come last. Um, but I think we're better than an eighth place team. Um, just like, a quick crossover. Would you say Rajasthan Royals? They're kind of like Denver Nuggets. They could easily be like that. I mean, 
<laughs> They're certainly the smallest team in the IPL. I mean, Nuggets are a very small team doing well. But, I mean, Nuggets were never expected to do that badly. Rajasthan, everyone always thinks they're going to do badly. And we, we came, what was it, fifth, fifth or fourth, fourth or fifth last year, and it was a pretty similar situation, I thought. And I think it'll be a similar thing this year. I, I put us in fourth, actually. Um, controversially above Chennai. Um, but, you know, I think we're good enough to win enough games that we'll be... We'll be... Wait, you put Chennai in fifth? Yep, I put Chennai in oh, fifth. Okay. Um, same as Arjun, and yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't see why this team couldn't be third or fourth. No, just quickly discussing a couple more. They also have um, Tom Curran, and Andrew Ty, and um, O'Shane Thomas, which is a lot of fast bowling options considering they only might play Archer. I mean, it's I guess it's just whether Stokes is there or not, whether Curran, those people Andrew, play. Is he still with his like family or whatever? No idea. No one knows. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've gone the complete opposite way. I think they're going to come last. And why is that? I don't think they're going to get a score above 160. I just don't see it happening. Uh-huh. Even if Butler fires, he normally gets like maybe hey, Butler could score 80 or 50. And Smith's strike rate in IPL is what, 115. Stokes, apart from that one season where he really like banged it, but he was at three that time. He batted most of his games at three. So I really don't see them getting really big scores. And their bowling isn't the strongest. Well, since Stokes last time played the IPL, he's played an amazing World Cup final. Amazing Ashes. Um, great summer this year as well. Like, he's oh, we'll a- see. <laughs> Stokes plays. Like, he's dangerous in any format of the game. He's such a good player. Like, I don't get why you don't think we're going to get above 160. It's a very no, no. That's a general, just a general thing. Sure. I think your average score won't be above one sixty. I mean, the average score might not be above that. You never know. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, we gotta have. Like I say, I say that like assuming the average score will be like one eighty. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what you have against Butler, Sam. I've got nothing against them, but I just think that overall as a team, I don't think you're gonna score as many runs as you probably like. Fair enough. I think it's the batting lineup is better than almost any other teams. Then, yeah, um, I really like. Arguably, yeah. Uh, I guess like the solid team, but um, unfortunately, with all the skill that I've mentioned of the other teams, I put them in seventh. So um, I could easily see them. <coughs> excuse me, switching with RCB because um, I had RCB third, but um, <laughs> no, I think that. They might not have the consistency that they seemingly have in the, on paper. Have you given your last place yet? No. Ah, I was thinking. I was like thinking about it. Wow, that's controversial. Well, should we move on then? Last team is Sunrisers Hyderabad. Um, a very up and down team. I think they could easily finish first and maybe last. That's it's controversial. Um, starting off openers Warner Besto. It's it's a very very no doubt, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone would argue against that. I would argue it's the best opening pair in the IPL. I go Rohit and Dakar are pretty good. Um No, this is by far the best. They're pretty good. Yeah. yeah, um I guess I'll go into my middle order for them. Um, yeah, this is where it starts getting a bit shaky. Yeah, I think it goes Poorly, yeah. So, um, start off number three, Manish Pandey. Um, I think he had a pretty gun season last year. <clears throat> he strikes pretty highly, and he's okay at finishing if you want him lower. So, but I'm um, from there. I'm not really sure who they go for. I guess you could think about Kane Williamson. Um, they might go that. But I don't think they will because there's nothing. They need an extra bowling option further down. I've gone with the two young players. To be honest, I don't know much about them. Priyam Garg and Virat Singh. But I think Priyam was the under-19 captain. But yeah, there'll be a lot of pressure on them. Okay. Um, yeah, I agree. The middle order's crap. Um, it's just, it's just it's now looking at it, I really want to change my my table prediction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking you had the way too high, but I mean, 
in saying that, it's still one of my best. I've, I've just watched Bersto hit a six to bring up his century against Australia inside about 35 overs. Yeah, but you're relying so much on two players. Yeah. So I've gone Pandey three, two, uh, BJ, BJ Shankar at four. Um, I think they're going to bat him up the order. And I've gone for Muhammad Nabi at five. Um, I yeah, think he's going to cool. utilize in a similar role to the he was at the Renegades, betting in that, you know, like it was from Nabi and Christian five and six. I think. Considering how weak the the order is, they'll probably want Nabi at five. So I've gone with the same route as Arjun. So Manish Pandey, Shankar, Virat Singh, and Pranik Gov as my middle order. It's very weak. I yeah. think that they would consider playing Williamson. Um, over not. They can only be over not. You play a top three of internationals. But they might need it, so... Well, it wouldn't be because Pandey would bat three, I reckon, and Weather Symbols at four. I think oh. Nabi's has much better best for T20 batch than Williamson is anyway. Williamson offered nothing nothing to them last year. He was yeah, but he scored 700 he runs. The year before. The year before that. Sure, it's just, I don't know. I, I don't think I wouldn't back Williamson. Just looking at the Indian batsmen, they might consider playing Saha as a batsman. And yeah, just, I saw that. Saw just, saying, three. just shows how weak they are, in my opinion. Sampa's got a three for. Yep. Um, see, my six and seven are um, Virat Singh and Abhishek Sharma. Um, I mean, I could also be Priyam Gargi then instead of Sharma, but I think he looks okay. Um, obviously, it looks it's very weak. Um, that's just no hiding that. Um, the the middle order for. SRH is a really, really big problem. Um, but I guess we'll give these guys a chance. We'll see how they go. Um, I've gone a little bit different. I've got Vijay Shankar there. Obviously, he has to play. He has batted high up for India and last year a little bit. But um, I think they might have him a bit lower because the other two youngsters are more genuine batsmen. And number seven, I've gone with a all-rounder. There's two options. Are the Fabian Allen, the handy spinner and batsman for the West Indies. Considering UAE tracks, they might go for him. If not, um, Mitch Marsh. Um, I'm starting to like him again. He looks pretty good in white ball cricket. Yeah, I'll pick Marsh over, over Allen. Yep. Not over Nabi, if I'm not mistaken. To be fair, like Marsh and Nabi, it's an interesting call because Marsh gives you a lot more batting than Nabi. I mean, you really think Marsh over Nabi, Arjun? Well, then. Like, it's if, a, they, 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 they'd certainly Nabi, consider it, I reckon. If I do Nabi, then I think it's too low for him, maybe. Mm-hmm. And then if you put him up, then Shank is too low. So. I don't know. I th- I'm just going to back the inform Mitch Marsh. The Nabi, I can see them going both ways. Mitch Marsh isn't in that much form. Like, he's it's like a one innings with a, less than a run a ball, but like, not in that much form. Arguably, he gives you more batting than Nabi. Arguably. That is arguable. I mean, Nabi has had okay anchor roles at the Renegades when they won. Um, Hasn't been as good lately with Afghanistan, I'm pretty sure. Um, I mean, I think if you're going to play Mitch Marsh, just put him at four. And it's just like you've got such a shaky, you know, three to five sort of Yeah, situation. you'd put him at four and Shaco at five. Actually, fine. I will change it to Nabia. Okay. Sure. Reasons or just, yeah? Well, just the experience, I guess. Because like, okay. Alan, Alan and Marsh, they're more like sort of explosive players, but Nabi like just solidifies a calm head, and his bowling is 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 solid. So I, would yeah. say I, I do consider Nabi quite an explosive player too. Um, and the question is, if say 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 it's three to five, it's Pandey, Shankar, Nabi, and maybe there's Marsh in that combo. Is that it's, it's not hopeless. It looks better without, you know, the Virat Singhs and the Gargs and the Abhishek Sharmas in there. But that, that's the three to five is okay, but it's certainly nothing special, is it? So there's two batting positions lower down. So yeah. those top four have to pretty much bat. 
like 18 out of the 20 overs at least. Yeah. But there's the redeeming quality, which is the bowlers. Um, yeah. Obviously, Rashid Khan. Yeah, right, who you got? Um, so, Malam, yeah, Kuma. Nabi at seven. I've already mentioned my six. Yeah. Uh, my ball is Rashid Khan, Kumar, Khalil Ahmed, and Siddharth Kahl. Or you could do Sandeep Sharma. That last pick, that last bowling option is definitely up in the air. Because they're both, in my opinion, around the same level. Yeah, I've gone with the same, but um, just thinking, um, instead of one of Siddharth Kahl or Khalil Ahmed, they might play a sp- another spinner. Because they've got Rashid and maybe Navi. But if it's not Navi, then they'll definitely need another. And I guess their best Indian option would be Shabazz Navdeem. The one test wonder. Mm. Yep. Yeah, and I've also got Siddharth Call instead with Khalil, Kumar and Rashid Khan. Um, Rashid Khan, best T20 bowler in the world. Arguably, that's probably one of the best bowling attacks. Yeah, it's great. I mean, there's only one weakness in this side, but it's a huge weakness, and it's, it's the whole three to seven region. Um, yeah, basically last year, like they just crumbled when Warner and Bester left. Yeah, and Warner's been getting out a lot early recently. I have to say, um, will he be as good as last year? It's hard. It's hard. Be hard to be as good as last year. Like, what what are they gonna do if Warner and Bester get out early? There's just no way they're getting above one sixty, one seventy. I think. And I think it's going to be a huge problem for them throughout the season. There's a, there's a lot of pressure on Bhuvnesh Kumar. Um, he hasn't been at his best in recent times. He's been injured and stuff. And if he doesn't fire, like it's kind of goes downhill for them a lot. And also Rashid Khan. Rashid Khan didn't have the best IPL last year. He was like he was pretty, pretty solid, but like he wasn't. The, doesn't seem like the best bowler in the world. It which seemed like that mystery bowler. No one knows what to do. Yeah. Um. So. The bowling's gonna, I mean, it's obviously going to be under a lot of pressure. They're going to have pretty low scores to defend at some point. That's obvious. Um, so, yeah. Oh, just one more thing. Would they consider Rashid Khan as a floater? <laughs> uh, maybe. Oh. I can see it happening. I could see it happening, but he's, I don't They're think... Like five. The highest he can bat will be five. I don't know. I don't think he should go anywhere above six. I, I mean, if it's like the 18th over and they're going to they lose the third wicket, then he'll come in, surely. Like, imagine if Warner, Bairstow, Pante, like, just pop off. Like, I reckon it'd be fine to have... Yeah, I reckon he'll be about five. You want Nabi in dead, though. You still want Nabi over Khan coming in. Yeah, um, good point. <laughs> I forgot about that. I mean, with, like, in that top five. I mean, Nabi can play the same role but better in terms of, in terms of batting. Mm, arguably, yeah. Should we get into the... I don't remember where you left them. Should we just go through our whole predict final tables again? I mean, we can go through Hyderabad first. I mean, I've got them in sixth. I think they'll be able to win a few games to the players they have, but it won't be quite enough to push for, for playoffs. No. Them seventh. I mentioned another team earlier, but I'm re jigging my prediction. Okay. Yeah, I think it's the w- one of the hardest things to predict in the IPL is who's going to be the worst team. It's, it's kind of hard because they all look decent. Um, but I'm going to have to put them in with SRH. Um, it's kind of, it makes you could argue it's a bit crazy to have a team with Rashid Khan and David Warner as the worst, but. I think that they might not just fire this year and things will go bad. Yeah. Yeah. So we go top to bottom? I guess we'll just wrap it up with our top to bottoms, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's do the first four. So to make playoffs, we've got Mumbai first. We'll to finish first. Kolkata second, Delhi third, and Chennai fourth. Five teams make playoffs, but... um. Yeah, yeah. I'm going Kolkata first, which wasn't what I was originally planning. Yeah, what do you mean? Oh, that's only in the big bash, Will. Sorry? You sh- no, are you sure? I think I'm pretty sure it's top five. No, it's always four. Only big bash does five. Oh. I thought they copied that of IPL. No, they, they made that half. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> they copied the other thing of IPL. 
I thought that I thought it was five after we watched it. It's been four. I can't believe. I thought you guys knew everything. No, <laughs> not really. Um. Well, either way, I put Kolkata first, which I think is bold. Um. I put Delhi second. I put Mumbai down to third, and Rajasthan fourth. I've got Mumbai, Delhi, RCB, which is quite bold, and then Punjab backing my team. Um, we go five, six, seven, eight. So fifth, I've moved RCB up from sixth, which we originally had them at, to fifth. Then Kings 11 and sixth, Hyderabad seventh, then Rajasthan eighth. The thing is, it's not you can't really say much to explain. Yeah, I guess we've set our reasoning for the yeah. team. Yeah. Do you just look at the Hyderabad team and realize you put them way too high? And yeah. <laughs> yeah, I put yeah Chennai fifth, Hyderabad sixth, Punjab seventh, Bangalore eighth. I don't think Hyderabad will be as bad as everyone thinks. Um, no, I'll just base them off like last year. They wait. What? What? Where did they finish last year? Uh, I can't remember. Fourth, they made but that was largely that was pretty much due to a best and one off. Yeah, they they got. So up to, I don't they, think they're gonna fire this like, year. The eliminator, whatever. That extent, anyway. Yeah. Well, I don't. I think it'd be hard for them to do just as well because they were amazing. Yeah. Well, hopefully the finals are as exciting as they were last year. Um, yeah. Last year, I finish. Um, yeah. I I'll just finish with mine. I got. Like fifth Chennai, then KKR, Rajasthan, Hyderabad. And I guess final question, who's going to win the IPL? Who's going to, out of your top four, who's going to come through to the final? Me, I think Delhi and Mumbai will be, make the final and Mumbai don't win it. I, I just think Mumbai just have a, a team that's just too good to be been. I'm gonna say I wouldn't be surprised if they're undefeated the whole season. Honestly, I know T20s. I don't think anyone's ever done that. Yeah, I know, but I know T20 is one of those games where anything could happen. But I under- honestly think Mumbai could go through the whole season yeah. without being defeated. No <laughs> what did they get last? It's a very bold call. <laughs> what it was, it was, yeah, they were nine wins, five losses last year, and they finished first. So. <laughs> mm. Um, I'm going to say Kolkata, despite finishing first, crash out. I lose their two, lose two games in a row. Mumbai beat Rajasthan, come to beat Kolkata, but then lose to Delhi in the final. And Delhi in their first ever final, I think it is, win win the IPL, beating Mumbai in the final in a shock result. Well, guess what? I've also got a Mumbai-Delhi final. <laughs> I'm, sticking, I'm sticking with... Uh, it seems to happen a lot as the first and second just make the final anyway. Um, and yeah, Delhi to win. I just, I just really want to see a new winner, as I've said, and I like the Delhi team. And I don't think, even as strong as Mumbai are, it's just so hard to go back to back, and it's so hard to go invincible. Check, check out this Pat Cummins ball to best um, But yeah, holy shit, <laughs> they cut in like, yeah, two stumps width, mad. Um, should we wrap it up there? Oh no! Quickly before we go, um, most runs, most wickets, most sixes, and play the MVP. MVP. I guess you may as well pick emerging player as well. <laughs> An emerging player. <laughs> what counts as emerging? Well, well pretty sure counts as an emerging player. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was a, that's like an off spinner. That ball that got best though. Um, so who, who are you guys going to go for? Well, uh, as we'll just do one of each of them one at a time. So top run scorer, I'm going to back my boy KL Rahul. <laughs> I think he's done it. He's been amazing two years in a row, three years in a row. I reckon he'll, he'll be good. Ryan? Should go Darwin. Okay. So thinking about going Darwin. Um, I don't know, what would be an interesting one? Hmm. Shri Asiya. I'm going to go Shri Asiya, top run scorer, IPL. If he does that from like three or four, that would, that would be crazy. Cool. It could. 
Easily could. Most wickets. Well, if Delhi win, like I think they will, I'm gonna go their their star, Kagiso Rabada. Okay. Uh, same. I'll go with Rabada. I'm gonna say um, Shreyas Gopal. Shreyas Gopal. <laughs> it's a hundred percent a fair boy. <laughs> He's not going to take more than, yeah. Wait, you're just a Shreyas fan. Top five last year, from what I remember. Oh, cool. Just two Shreyas. <laughs> yep, I'm just a Shreyas. Shreyas is the guy. Um, Shreyas Gopal, top wicket taker. I mean, he got, he got 20 wickets last year, from what I remember. Um, and he was, looking at it now, he was fourth last year. So, why not? Mm. Um, he said most sixes. Most sixes. <laughs> Well, there's only two players you really think about think here. Say, I'm going to say um, Andre Russell, actually, of the Kolkata Knight Riders. Andre Russell, no sixes. Yep, same. <laughs> well, I'll just to go different. I'll go Hardik Pandya then. Nice. <laughs> Three through it from last year. Last year it was Pandya third most sixes of 29, then Gale with 34, and then Russell with 52 had the most sixes last tournament. 18 clear of anyone else. <laughs> well, how many ga- games did Gale play? Uh, one less than Russell. Right. And you played two more. Um, so you said emerging player. What counts as an emerging player? Probably MVP first. Or oh, MVP. Um, Andre Russell. Classic Andre Russell. Well, I'm definitely not doing Russell because I'm not doing Russell. I don't think it'll be Russell. Um, since Delhi win. I think Jadej is a shout, you know. That's a bold one. Jadej. Shreyas Iyer. I think, um, yeah, I think he'll, he'll help carry Delhi to the win. Okay. Last year on my ranking, it was Russell, then Warner, then Pandya. Um, they were the clear top three. It'll be interesting to see how it goes this year. Do you think Warner will be up there this year? Do you, re- do you reckon Warner's going to score 500 plus runs? No. no. Wait, should we just uh, say uh, just one more thing? Who do you think we, the best Australian will be? Could, yeah. Pat Cummins. How about you guys? Thank you. I could see it being one. Uh, I think Maxwell's the other obvious one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Pat Cummins' record. You know, but we'll say okay. Yeah, I'll back up and job player Ben Maxwell. Ryan. Yeah, I'm leaning towards Maxwell as well. Okay. We're just saying I'm a one percent here, so we should try and wrap this up. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, uh, comment down below uh, where you think uh, all the teams are going to be placed this year. Um, also, your MVPs. And yeah, we'll see you next time. All right. See you.